I beg to lay the following table, the, uh, the following paper on the table of the House today, Tuesday, the 18th of June, 2024. National Assembly's Finance Committee Chair Kuria Kimani has tabled the Finance Bill 2024 report before the National Assembly. However, the timelines of its considerations is now a ball of contention. Obviously, members from across the political divide would want adequate time to be able to contribute to the matter of the finance bill at the second reading stage. We thought it would be wise to have a morning sitting on Thursday. We will have tomorrow the whole day from 9.30 all the way up to 9 p.m. Then we also allow members Thursday morning, and our speaker as you directed during the House Business Committee earlier today, we have up to 5 p.m. For example, today it was just stabling. Tomorrow is debate. Tomorrow is Wednesday. And Thursday is debate. Then next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, is where now voting will happen. And the voting will be par close. On the concerns of the imposition of eco levy on imported finished goods, including diapers and sanitary towels, the Finance Committee has defended the same saying that the country had enough capacity to supply the demand. We have manufacturers here who are struggling to, to make items. Someone was tell, asking me whether we have local manufacturer of diapers. I want to confirm mm -hmm. that this country has sufficient manufacturers of diapers. Okay. They have sufficient manufacturers of sanitary, sanitary towels. towels. They have sufficient manufacturer of taps, of, of sinks, of all those things around sanitary wear, like in our bathrooms. Mm -hmm. But they are not being able to be competitive because we... Uh, uh, <laughs> We being a free country, we've been allowing import of those items from China. So when we buy those items from those other countries and they become cheaper than the ones that are locally manufactured here, we're exporting jobs and you're losing on foreign exchange. In a move that is aimed at protecting the country from becoming a dump site of e-waste, all electronic gadgets imported will now track the eco levy. For all these that are locally manufactured here, we need to love ourselves. We need to protect our own. And the ones that are exporting now, are importing now from that country, now that eco levy will be paid by the manufacturer. To give an example, eco levy was started uh, two years ago in Tanzania. So Tanzania, when say an iPhone is being imported to, to, to Tanzania, the Tanzania government has an agreement with Apple, and that eco levy is being paid by Apple. And, it's only, and that amount is, is now $10, for example. What you have recommended is $10 uh, per phone. So for a phone that costs 250,000 shillings, for example, $10 of that is 1,300. On registration on the items, the small businesses with a turnover of less than a million have been exempted, even as the penalty for businesses which default has been reduced from 2 million Kenya shillings per month. We have reduced the... the, 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 the the penalty for non registration on items from from 2 million shillings to 50,000 shillings. And we have also proposed that the commissioner has power to exempt that penalty so that in the event that that, that, that it is a small businesses that probably had an issue with their, with their system, then we have actually provided for that. But for the huge entities that have been uh, evading on taxes, then they will not be subject to that. Uh, ex with all said and done, the Finance Bill 2024 is expected to still finance the budget in equal measure, despite removal and amendment of contentious clauses. The proposals to raise 320 billion still remain. I have said radio development levy increased by one percentage point, IDF increased by one percentage point, and reduction on tax expenditures. Joel Chacha K24 TV, Nairobi.